Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector with another action figure review. Uh, and here we have the Marvel Legends uh, Avengers Infinity War uh, Children of Thanos with Th Thanos. Um, and all of these are brand new paint, repainted basically. And we got a few extra accessories for Thanos. We got a new accessory for Claudicean and he has a new body mold. Uh, so yeah, let's go over the packaging here. So first, uh, it has the Avengers Infinity War logo there. You get the Marvel Legends logo on top. You get this like cool worn bronze metal going out throughout the like border of the packaging plastic there. You get the Avengers logo broken up there. And then here's the back with the uh, Children of Thanos like poster that we've gotten before. And you get the Avengers logo there. And if you guys want, let's make it get closer you guys. You guys want to pause and read that you can Let's see there we go um and then on the side you get uh what it includes which comes with thanos proxima midnight uh ebony ma on the other side you get uh pictures of the others so you get you get thanos again you get uh cloud this in cold cold this in and then uh carnivus clave and then here's the bottom with the UCPI, I mean, UPS. Oh, UCPI. Uh, but besides that, let's crack it open. And here they are in the packaging here. I do prefer these figures instead of the older ones. I will do a comparison with each one of them after I review each one. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, I will do a comparison. <laughs> Um, but first off, let's start with Ebony Ma. Um, I did not do a review on him just because I started doing this. I, I got him before I did YouTube. So let's go over Ebony Ma here first. So let's start with the face here. So I think this is the same head sculpt that we've gotten with the last one, but I think there's a lot more detail in it. Like look at the eyes. They look pretty good. It's not cockeyed or anything like that. So that's good. I like the little purple, like, tint or wash over it. it gives it a nice wrinkles that's good you get the white hair in the back i'm not sure if the other one did um but we'll check it out here in a bit and i think the paint on it on him is a little bit more dark whereas the other one had more gray around it and stuff like that i like the gold reflection reflective gold here it's pretty good it's the same sculpt, I believe. So you get the same texturing here. You get some of the, the same texturing around the sleeves. You get the rings on the fingers here. So that's good. You get this like little skirt thing, whatever you want to call it. You get the nice uh, gray stuff. I meant gray paint around some border parts of it. And you get that little bit of a shiny black there. And then the pants have some texturing on it. It looks like it has some stripes going around it. His pants there. I like the texturing for the pants. I never said, I, I don't think I've ever said that before. But, and then you get the boots. So that's pretty good. But I think it's the same sculpt as the other one. Uh, maybe except for the head because they added a hair, I think. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, let's go over the articulation here. So his head cannot move. Oh, there we go. Hinges down that far, uh, hinges up that far, the hair kind of gets in the way. I don't think the other one had hair like that before. You can look left and right, left and right, there we go. He has some head, pip head pivoting there. His shoulders can move out that far. His shoulders can do 360 rotation around there. He has a bicep swivel there. He has double jointed elbows. Goes way past 90 degrees, almost does a 180. <laughs> um, but his a wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. He has a diaphragm joint, so he can go side to side. He can go forward a little bit, backwards a little bit too. 360 rotation around there. His legs kick out that far, uh, up just a little, not a little bit, mainly because this kind of gets in the way. Uh, backwards, not a whole lot. Uh, he has a thigh cut here. He has double jointed knees. Almost pretty much does a butt kick, so that's nice. Um, no boot swivel. On the, yeah, there's no boot swivel there. 
his ankles can hinge up that far, down that far, nice ankle pivot. And here's the new Ebony Mon next to the one from the, uh, which one was it? The uh, Armored Thanos Build-A-Figure Wave uh, Ebony Mon. So yeah, I do prefer this one mainly because I, I, I think, like, I think the skin tone is a lot more accurate and then the outfit is a lot more cooler, I think. But, um, yeah, that's all I've got for Ebony. All right, next we'll go over um, Proximate Midnight. So her first accessory that she gets is her like little blade thing, whatever you want to call this thing. I don't know what you call it, but um, this one's different. Uh, last one was entirely gold and mine broke, so I can't really, I don't know where it is. My brother and sister are way too rough th with this stuff, so. Um, but the entire thing was gold on the last one, I believe. Um, but this one's like more gray and um it has some detailing in there so it has like this blue right here for the blade <clears throat> and it has some blue for the other blades here but besides that same sculpt and just a little bit more paint detail i guess but honestly i think i prefer the gold one i don't know actually no i think i prefer this one mainly because of how proximate midnight looks now but yeah that's all we got for that and then here's proximate midnight so it's the same sculpt but uh, it's a repaint so from the last one the face was blue whereas this one has like dark uh pink tint with that i don't know <clears throat> it has some pink for the lips purple for the lips it has that line there you get that really cool reflective face paint there uh i don't know what you call it but she has like what is it gold eyes red eyes i don't know i can't really tell um but i like the, like a little blue wash here for for her uh, i think the hair is the same paint i'm not quite sure i think it might be a little bit darker in person it's a lot more darker than it is on camera it looks a little bit more lighter but look, yeah i think it's a lot more darker <clears throat> and then so you get the texturing throughout the body so you get this cool texturing uh, and you get the textures going out throughout the sleeves here you get the gloves you get that arm pad here. Um, you get that like little gray paint there. Um, here too. Last time I think this was gold. I have it, so we'll do a comparison over that. And you get that really cool gunmetal gray throughout the pads here. So that's cool. And then you get keep getting texturing throughout the legs too. So that's cool. You get more of that gray paint there. You get that like little gunmetal. Uh, gray there and then here so that's cool <laughs> but besides that let's go over articulation here so their head can hinge down that far up just that far the hair gets in the way she can look left and right kind of same deal hair is in the way there we go uh not just very little head pivoting uh her shoulders can move out that far for this one you can't really do 360 rotation around there but this one you can like that um and then she has a bicep swivel here, double jointed elbows, not quite where Ebony Maw is. Uh, her wrist can hinge down that far, up that far. 360 rotation around there. She has a ball joint at the diaphragm, so she can go side to side. She can go forward like zero backwards, just a very tiny amount. Uh, and then 360 rotation around there. Her legs can kick out that far, that's pretty good. Out that far, really good backwards a little bit more than usual that's good thigh cut double jointed knees so that's good her ankles can hinge down that far up that far and nice ankle pivot and here's the new approximate midnight next to the uh the build of figure thanos from the avengers infinity war wave i do prefer this one because it's a lot more movie accurate and you can tell the difference easily kind of i mean you get definitely do this one's white and my sister put red marker on her for some reason and get the gold armor around her shoulder and legs here and then like this little headpiece uh now it's matte it's matted gray with some red detail through there where does this one's just like i don't know it kind of looks like it's part of her face so uh yeah Plus for approximate midnight uh this is just sword i don't think the last one we got a sword like this so yeah Here's the sword, you get that gray here, and then you get the black handle here. I like the texturing in the bottom of it here. 
So yeah, there's that. I think this is for Proxima Midnight. It was right next to her in the packaging. And I totally forgot about it. So yeah. Um, but next is Car Carnivus Clave. So for his first accessory, um, I believe it's nothing new about it. Um, so yeah, you would get the same gold uh, sword blade pieces here. And same deal here. I do have that other piece, I think. Where are you at? I'll have to go grab it from upstairs in a minute. But yeah, uh, you get the, like the texturing throughout the handles here. So that's cool. But I have to go upstairs and grab Carnivus Clay for a little comparison here. But yeah, there's this little double bladed thing. Um, and then here's Carnivus Clay here. So it's basically a repaint. Um, so like you get all these rips and wrinkles that's a lot of detailing so you get a lot of the gold texturing throughout the hood you get this gold ear piece here i like the face sculpt here really detailed i like it a lot you get the red eyes there and you get the teeth you get that like little purple wash uh, through the wrinkles there really detailed i like it a lot and you get more of that gold detailing throughout the body. I like that a lot. And then, like, for this pe these pieces, it's kind of like a matted black. Here's the cape. Um, whereas this one's, like, shiny. And for the legs, it's shiny. Like, super shiny. So, I like that a lot. It gives it, like, an armor look to it. So, I like this a lot. And then, let's go over his articulation here. There's a lot of detailing throughout this figure. I'm not going to go every single piece of it. <laughs> But yeah, like I've said, there's some rips throughout this piece here. But yeah, let's go over the articulation here. So his head can hinge down actually really good, especially because of the hood. Oh, I popped off the head. So you can't go up that much farther. Uh, you can look left and right. Uh, no head pivoting. Well, just a very little amount. His shoulder can, this one can move up just that far. This one up a little bit more. Uh, so you can't really do 360 rotation around there because of the a little cape piece, whatever you want to call this. He does have bicep swivels. You can kind of see that in there. He does have double jointed elbows and they're very skinny, which kind of scares me a little bit about these figures. Um, his wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. He has a diaphragm joint, so he can go side to side. Really good. You can go forward quite a bit, a little bit for a diaphragm joint. He can go backwards a lot but you don't want to do it too much because you can kind of see it looks like it's about to separate there. You can do 360 rotation around there, so that's good. Oh, yeah, also has a hip joint. I never realized that. Uh, well, a waist swivel kind of looks like it. Yeah, in the bottom, you can kind of see it there. So, like I said, you can do 360 rotation around there still. You can kick out that far, kick forward that far, backwards, uh, not as much. Uh, it does have a thigh cut here. He has double jointed knees, so that far. And yet his ankles can hinge down pretty far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. And here's the new Kernus Glaive next to the one from the Loki 2 pack. Uh, I think I do prefer this one because it's a little bit more detailing and I like the darker look to it. So I think it's, I don't know, they're kind of, it, they're both alike, but I like the black instead of like that gun a little gray to be honest but yeah there's that for carnivus clave and here we have the cold Dissian, uh figure and I, I prefer this one because way more movie accurate than the build a figure that we've gotten with the like ant-man wasp figures um which was kind of a sad build a figure to be honest but we got an update so they fixed it and so first things first, you get this accessory, which is way more movie accurate than when we got two. It's more of a like sword or claw thing, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you get it's really rigidy. I wish they kind of added in more paint detail, but I mean, it's a way better weapon than we got from the build figure so I'm happy about that. So yeah, there's that. And it's all black, so. Uh, there's now a whole bunch of paint detail to go over for this. And then here's the updated Coldician. Uh So let's go over the face sculpt here. I think this is the same sculpt as the last Builder figure, though. Um, you can take the little horn or teeth at the bottom and on the top here, too. I like the paint detail. You get that 
dark brown on the top. So that's cool. And then for the arm here, I like the brown detailing through there, really scaly look and very uh, like armored kinda. So that's cool. And then, yeah. Uh, and then this other arm, you get the shoulder piece here. So, and then what's cool about it, you can rotate it around so that way it won't mess with the, the articulation for that part. Um, but besides that, it's the same arm that we've gotten before, I believe. Uh, maybe, I'm not quite sure. It kind of looks like it. Um, besides this like little piece here, uh, there was armor on the forearm here. Um, and then you get this shoulder pad, like I've said, you get the gold paint there and gold, I meant gray paint, gold paint, whoops. Um, but yeah, I like this, I like this figure a lot more than the other one. And then here you get the torso, which is way better. Again, um, I think they just kind of put it over him. I'm not quite sure. Um, no, they didn't. It's a, it's a new sculpt. But it kind of has that like that soft plastic feel to it. I like the gray paint here. I like the detailing through there. Get some orange paint there. Here too, you get that cool texturing here. So that's cool. And then you get this this like little uh, fabric here where everyone was thinking it was uh, Captain Marvel's like scarf or something like that. I don't know why. I mean, I don't blame you for thinking of that, but yeah. There's that, and you get that cool red there, gold, blue, <clears throat> which makes sense that people would think it was Captain Marvel's scarf or something. And you get these gold rings around the hips. You get that lighter gray for that little skirt piece there. Here's the back. And then here's the legs. You get that orange detailing there with the cool texturing. You get the light gray knee pads. And then you get more of that like gunmetal gray throughout the legs and you get that a little bit of lighter gray here at the bottom so yeah um let's go over his articulation now his head can whoops that's not what i wanted to do uh, i can only move down just that far up that far you can look left and right he has some head pivoting his shoulder can move out just that far just that far because of this this one same deal it doesn't want to move because the shoulder piece is in the way but they both do 360 rotation around the shoulder like i showed you on this one uh this this one i know has bi uh, bicep swivel this one can't really do that that much because the straps here or the shoulders kind of restricting that um his wrists can hinge down or no this one moves side to side so side that far that far 360 rotation around there i think this one moves up and down yes it does so it moves down just that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there too. Uh, it has a ball joint, so it moves to the side that far, that side. Three, oh, it also has a ball joint at the, I mean, now ball joint. Uh, waist swivel here, so you can do 360 rotation around this waist, and also in the ball, well, no. You can mainly twist on that joint, actually. Just only twist. You can't really do the swivel all the way around. Uh, you can kick out that far, forward not a whole lot backwards quite a bit actually uh he has a thigh cut there he has double jointed knees there we go uh there's that his ankles can hinge down that far up that far nice ankle pivot i don't think i went over the elbows he has single jointed elbows so that far and here's the new cool edition next to the crappy uh, build a figure one that was not movie accurate at all. Um, but yes, I obviously prefer this one. This one would be like kind of more like comic accurate kind of I think. Um, but yeah, I prefer this one. And the last figure for this little four, uh, five pack is Thanos, obviously. So for his accessories, he comes with this extra head where it's like kind of half burnt there. So you get that like pur pink, dark purple there, really burnt texture look to it. So that's cool. And it's the same face sculpt, I think. And I like the paint, uh, the skin tone for this one's a little more pink purple. Uh, instead of the other one where it was just purple, kinda. This one looks a lot more movie accurate. I like the, oops, sorry. 
I like that paint detailing and the wrinkles there, so that's good. And then you get this extra arm here where after you snapped it, it's damaged. Um, so for the arm here, you get that same purple pink look there from the face where it was burnt and you get some of that black texturing. And then you get the damaged gomlet here where, with all the stones in it still. This piece is kind of loose. So that's a cool little detail there. You can kind of see it's wiggling there. Um, and then his hands are open. You get all the stones in there still. My light went out, so that's awesome. But yeah, I like the texture and the detailing for this uh, extra arm here. I'm gonna be displaying him as damaged for this one. And I will do a comparison with the armored Thanos and the Builder figure one. I don't have the one with the three pack with the crappy Iron Man one and uh, good, I want the Doctor Strange and the Thanos though. But your Thanos here, yeah. So you get that same, you get him smiling there. I like, you get the better skin tone throughout the body. So I like that a lot more. And the other one was a lot more shiny, whereas this one's kind of like matte look, matte kind of feel. So that's good. But I like the de uh, detail for the face here. It's really good. And it's the same mold from that figure two. Um, just repaint basically. And you get this extra hand here. So if you guys want to swap out hands for a snap or not. Um, but yeah. So you get this like lighter blue here. You get the same texturing. Like I've said, it's the same sculpt. Uh, you get the lighter gold here. And you get that like bronze kind of color here. Uh, sorry if I keep moving to figure out the out of uh, the lens. I'm still trying to figure out a way to get my setup back up, but we're at the moment getting ready to fix up the house. So uh, you get the dark, I mean, you get that brown pants, you get a little bit of a darker brown boots, you get the gold knee pads here. So that's good. Besides that, this covers articulation. So his head can move down that far, up that far. You can look left and right. Not a li very little hip pivoting there. His shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation around the shoulder. He has single jointed elbows. Wrists can hinge down ah, that far, up that far only. And then 360 rotation around there. He has an ab crunch so he can go forward that far. Backwards quite a bit. He has a waist swivel, so 360 rotation around there. His legs can kick out pretty far. Kick forward, decent amount. Backwards, not a whole lot. He has a thigh cut here. Double jointed knees. If I could get that other hinge to go. There we go. Just like that. And then his ankles can hinge down uh, that far. Up that far. And nice ankle pivot. And to switch out the arm and the head, you just pop that out like that. Just pop that back in there. Pop off the head like that. And pop this one in if I can. Come on. A little off camera work here. All right, there we go. And let's try on the light again. And there he is, all damaged up. And let me bring in the other ones. And here's the new Thanos next to the Endgame Thanos and the Build a Figure uh, Infinity War Thanos. And obviously, I prefer this one over that one. And obviously I can't really say that because this is a different version of them. Um, but I hope they give us an updated look to this one. I don't really like the articulation for this one a, a whole bunch. Uh, it's pretty loose for me. Um, and I wish they gave us the gauntlet, uh, the nano gauntlet instead of that one. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got. And there's all your figures for this wave. And that's all I've got. <laughs>